Got him? Yeah. Oh, Clifford, you got the fish? <laughs> This is why we call him Clifford Perch, folks. Look at that, a jig fish. See, there's nice Good ones job, in here. son. All right. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you catch that fish on? We just, just got here, folks. Jig. We just got here. A little football jig. There you go. They're Not healthy. a bad fish. They're healthy. They look good. <laughs> like I said, they're growing fast. You see how small his mouth is? Oh, yeah. See, they're not old fish, but they're healthy. They're growing fast. There you go. Did he thump it? Just heavy. Just heavy? Just heavy. Folks, today we're at Roosevelt Lake with Clifford Perch uh, from the Bassmaster Elite Series. And you're getting ready to go to the Classic. Huh? Yeah, yeah. How many Classics months. is this for you? Uh, I think uh, number seven. Oh, I think man. number seven. So. That's incredible. Hope and, it's the lucky one. Oh, yeah. We were supposed to come out in December, you know. And, uh, unfortunately, I got sick. Cameraman got sick. We couldn't get out here. Clifford was on some good fish. but. Uh, He's been catching some good fish out here. We're gonna find out what Clifford does to, to catch some of these fish out here at Roosevelt. And I know everybody's interested because they see all his posts. Uh, tell everybody about your Facebook. Uh, oh, yeah, Clifford, Clifford Perch Outdoors, Clifford right? Perch Outdoors on Instagram or Facebook. So. Yeah, yeah, so it, it's awesome. Clifford's a great guy. He's uh, done very well in tournaments, three US Opens. I finally got one. Yeah, no, it's, <laughs> Johnny's part of the club for sure. Yeah, I'm part of the club sure. finally, but uh, no, I'm, I'm, I'm way far from you guys, but let me tell you something. We're here at Roosevelt during the winter. It's January, and uh, Clifford's going to probably show us how to catch a few fish here, and obviously he, we, he just showed us that uh, jig fishing's not so bad right now. We just pulled up to this spot. We're on a bluff. Clifford, what do these fish do in the wintertime? I mean, I go to the bluffs a lot when I feel like I, I, I can get bit, you know, because the fish move up and down off these bluffs. What, what's your theory on this? Well, I really like to be around rock, any kind of rock. You know, um, the more broken and chunk rock, the better. You know, a lot of this is just solid rock, but down at the base of it, there'll be lots of broken up stuff. So I like to be around a lot of rock in the wintertime when the water's cold, you know, especially on the front end of the spawn, you know, when we're, we're a little ways out still. Okay. Um, so, you know, that's the biggest thing for me is to be around rock and hard bottom. Now, I noticed that you throw on a jig. You've got, I think it's a brush hog on the end of it. Uh, um, normally, what, what makes you decide whether you want to shrink the jig up and make it a smaller profile versus the bigger profile like that? I just thought it'd be fun to maybe catch a big one today. You know, <laughs> this is a, it's actually a big bite bait, it's creature bait, and it's, um, you know, s similar to a brush hog, but it's uh, just your standard green pumpkin and brown color. It's kind of a big crawdad imitation, you know, could be a bluegill, sunfish, gotcha. darting from rock to rock. So. Um, you know, a football jig's really good in the winter because it's, like I said, one, I like to key on rock, and so that's one of the best ways to, to uh, target rock. You know, it really fishes through it well, uh, makes a little bit of noise and commotion, and, and uh, the fish are feeding on crawdads, and, and they're around that rock where they're eating a lot of crawdads and, and some sunfish, bluegills, stuff like that. So well, you better, you better save me to, one. I'm going to yeah. pull my jig rod out, too. Notice I've already cast like three yeah. times. I, yeah, he's, I, he's, I, he's, I, that's why they call him Clifford <laughs> Perch. I mean, he's <laughs> already casting it uh, We're drifting down through this rock area. He's like, will you shut up and fish? I didn't want to get too far away. I thought, well, maybe I can get ahead of him while we're No, while you've, we're, you've uh, done that. You've done here. that. I, I thought I got bit, and I actually was stuck on a rock down there yeah. the same time you got bit. And... Uh, I gotta pull out my jig rod. He's got, he brought plenty of rods today, folks. We're gonna find out what Clifford Perch does here at Roosevelt Lake to catch a few fish here. Something just jumped right there. Clifford, you were talking about, <clears throat> and we've seen this a lot, a pressure bite. Um, these fish aren't really slamming it. You just pick it up and it feels weird, right? It feels alive, but. Yeah, a lot of it is, you know, heavy. You know, it just feels off. It doesn't feel right, so it's just worth jerking on it, but. It's also where a lot of them are picking up and, they, and they're letting go of it really fast. So if you're not in tune with what's going on, he's there and gone and you think you didn't get a bite, you think fishing sucks, yeah. you know what I mean? So uh, really they are biting, but I've heard a lot of guys say lately, oh, it's terrible, they're biting blah, blah, weird. blah, blah, yeah. they're, they're biting. It's just they're not really holding on to it. And you kind of got to be so in tune with them that uh, you get them when they bite it, because it's, like I said, they're, they're not really holding on to it. You may not like my worm. You get him? I did, he you're, feels better than those little guys terrible, too. man, that was my fish. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, dude. You gotta love that, huh? Oh, I had already thrown down there, he didn't like my worm, I'm gonna change. Just fishing with that. That's Johnny. that purple worm, isn't it? Don't you lie to me now, son. 
This fishing with Johnny Johnson is pretty fun, isn't it? <laughs> he just job, makes it Clifford. more fun. <laughs> There's one. There's one. Drop shot bass. Little drop shot bass. <laughs> hey, man. If I catch two of these, it'll equal what you just caught. <laughs> there you go, Clifford. Good you were job. wanting a drop shot bass. Good we job. got one. Yeah, good job. You know, I get asked all the time, and I think it's real important to let the folks know at home, it's wintertime fishing. People automatically think, okay, I gotta go to 40 foot of water to catch a fish. And you mentioned something just a few minutes ago that I've always believed in. And I've tried to tell people this, that, and we got a boat taken out. But I think one of the most important things to remember is that there's always shallow fish. It seems like there's always shallow fish. You might have to fish a lot. You might have to make a lot of casts, but it seems like there's always some shallow fish. We're not catching them real deep today. No, the fish and, we caught anyway. You know, yeah, there's a lot of shallow fish, and you know, one thing that's changed over the last 10 or 15 years in Roosevelt, we got a lot more gizzard shad than we used to have just just threadfin. Yeah. And the gizzard shad don't really go quite as deep as often. Like the threadfin shad, they just go really deep. They like to be deep in the wintertime, uh, you know, on this lake. And uh, the gizzards don't really go that deep. A lot of times you'll still see them hitting the surface Flickering. shallow. Yep. And so that, that really keeps a lot of fish shallow. Ah. So it's changed kind of how the lake acts that makes sense. in the wintertime. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're swapping up from jigs to drop shots, things like that. But I think something that's really important to know, I, I know that a lot of people ask me about why I like to use braid <clears throat> with my drop shot. I do it because of number one of the line twist, number two, you, one of the other things I love about it is, you know, you can detect all the strikes a lot better, things like that. But I notice you're even throwing braid and you got me on that uh, Seaguar Smackdown. I like that. It's really good braid. Anyways, I just wanted to let you know that. But let the folks know why you like that braid with your drop shot. We fish deep out <coughs> here, but we're not fishing deep today. But Well, I, I was kind of one of the holdouts, the late holdouts. We're going to race each other for this fish. <laughs> I was kind of one of the late holdouts for changing from straight fluorocarbon to braid leader on my drop shot. Now I've done it for like 20 years with, you know, flipping. Yeah. But uh, I really didn't like it on my spinning rod, but now that they make it so good, it's just one of those things that, that uh, you know, you, you increase your sensitivity. It's super small diameter. There's a good knot. You know, I used to use a uni to uni knot and I really didn't like it on lighter line. And uh, now I use the crazy Alberto knot. It's a That's lot better knot to use. Yep. And uh, really casts really well too. Yes. And the other thing is, you know, you're using light line because uh, you know, you're putting something in their face for a long time. That little bitty worm's down there. It's really easy. They get a really good look at it. And you know, when you're using light line, a spinning reel is far more superior than a bait caster too, because it's got yes. a better drag system. You know, this is a little ardent bolt kind of a mid-grade price range model that's kind of a good one for everyone to get and it's it's still a really great reel yeah. you know it's, it's I use like a 2500 or a 3000 model it's a 3000 so it's kind of keeps it small and um, again it's just it's how to manage light line uh, when you get a big fish on you know that drag pulls you're able to a good drag yeah, yeah yeah you're able to fight a fish without breaking your breaking your line you know on a bait caster you know it's got a drag system but it doesn't necessarily um, a lot of times it digs into itself, you know. That's why, you know, like I said, a, a spinning reel has got a far superior drag system. So, and I'm using of, that Ardent C Force reel, and it's been a been a real good reel, and it's got a great drag system on it. <laughs> little jig bass. Healthy little dude. Healthy little guy right there. You know what I was doing, Cliff, is I was hopping it pretty fast. And he thumped it. I actually felt that one thump it. Good. Yeah. Good. Maybe they're fired up over there. You know, that's the one thing, folks, that's probably hard to figure out sometimes is, you know, when you're throwing a jig is, well, a lot. Of, I get a lot of questions on it. You know, how do I throw it? You can throw it out there, let it dead stick. You can drag it along the bottom. You can hop it along the bottom. You can yo-yo it. You can swim it. You got to figure out what cadence works for the fish. 
that's the part of fishing that's tough is, is you can have one guy in the boat, and we've talked about this before, where you can have one guy in the boat catching a lot of fish, throwing the same bait that you're throwing, and you're trying to figure out what's going on. And a lot of times it could be the cadence, right, Cliff? For sure, for sure. You know, it's definitely, you, you gotta let them tell you the clues. Yeah. You know, they get they give you the evidence what, what'll work and what catches them. You know, if you hopped it and caught them, then keep hopping it. If you drug it and caught them, or you know, keep doing that. If it, if it popped free out of a rock, you know, that, yeah. that gives you a little clue. Got him. You got him? I knew it. That's a good one. Oh, oh that's a good one, son. <laughs> I knew it, man. I was on the wrong side. You were jerk bait. I couldn't get over on that side. Good job, man. I was defending that my is the fish. territory. That is the fish of the day. Clifford, and you caught it on the drop shot. That's a nice one. Now that's fun. We were talking <laughs> earlier about fishing light line, and like this is why the spinning reel is important because, you know, when he makes that run, that last run, it, it gives real easily, you know. So that little deal we were talking about our drag earlier. Oh, there's some right underneath us. And it wasn't very fair, was it, of me? <laughs> it's all oh, good, son. Oh, look at son. that. Look at I that. know. I'm runners. seeing it. I'm talking about it. We better get fishing. You got him? I don't know what the drop shot did. <laughs> you got my fish. <laughs> it's not a bad fish. Nice one, yeah. <laughs> I think that's all bait right there with some fish around so? it. You think so? Yeah. <laughs> You're done with the trolling motor. I'm done all with right, you. we can switch. We're switching. You've caught enough fish all today. Right. Did you get it? I did. He's not very big, I don't think, but... Oh! There you go. Right under the boat again. Picked up the drop shot. I saw a little mark down there. Did you really see the little mark? Because I'm looking. I did. Oh, you did. It's right there. Yeah. You did see the mark. I was busy throwing the jig. Talking. I saw one there. Nice. You're catching them on that purple worm, huh? Well... Getting a few on the purple worm, getting it down there, throwing a quarter water. ounce weight. Yeah, it's a little darker water. I thought maybe that dark. Yeah, work. the darker color might work for you. That's not a bad fish, Cliff. Yeah, they're all good. You man. know, we're swapping up today doing a jig, throwing a drop shot, the jig. But the one thing I'm noticing about you is you're really keeping an eye on that graph. You're wanting to make sure whether you got a jig out there or not, you want to drop down to those fish. Look at the graph. Like right there. Look <laughs> at the graph. Look at this. <laughs> Yeah, Easy does you know, it, son. I, always, I always really like to keep an eye on it just because, you know, it, it's telling you whether there's one there or not. So if yeah. there's not one there, you know, you're casting out in front. But if there's one there, you know that you're putting your bait in front of a fish. So that's it's fun to do. That's that my video tip gaming. of the day. We got, you said you said I got to come up with a tip of I the day. I told him, All I right. says, folks, this is a, I told him, I says, you got to figure out a tip of the week here. I says, because every time I do a tip of the week, when I have a guest on, I like them to do a tip of the week. So what's the tip of the week again? The tip of the week is if you see one on the graph, put your bait there because y you know that you're fishing in front of a fish. Now we can cast all day long out there and, and when we're catching them, it's fine. But if you're not catching one and you see one on your graph, it never hurts to put your bait in front of a fish. So, you know, it just ups your odds. The more odds you, know, you put in your favor, the better you do. There you go. So, so reel it in quick, drop it, and you got a chance to catch one. <laughs> and make sure you reel faster than Johnny does. <laughs> yeah, you, or make sure he's watching it when I'm not watching it. <laughs> Good fishing. Oh, got it. Oh, that's a good one. Good one. <laughs> There's a little bit better fish there, there. <laughs> oh, he's getting caught up in yours. You told oh, me don't you, don't you dare. You that ain't your fish, that's my <laughs> fish. I was trying to what? catch him on your Look line there. son. <laughs> That's how you do it right there, right in that That's tree. Nice Good job. All right, come on. There's another beautiful bass. That's a, nice one. That's a little better frame right there on that one. You have to get excited, folks, when Clifford actually allows you to catch a fish when you're in a boat with him. <laughs> That's a good one. Beautiful bass. You know they are. They're they're just they're down there. We're throwing right down there on them. You got to be the first one down to them, of course. Clifford's pretty fast. 
Uh, I'm going to start calling him Quick Jaw Clifford. <laughs> I'm telling you, man, you can get down there quicker than anybody I know. now <laughs> I told oh, you I'd finally make one. a comeback son there you go that's a nice one hey too. hey look at this good. look at this oh, good. that's a good fish son a good thick one man yeah right off that point huh and he ate the bait ate it no there you go folks look at how big their belly is Drop shot bass, look at there. Huh? Good looking thing. Cliff? Yeah. That's how you want them, man. Short and fat. And then when they're say, long, then they're really big, you know. Can I say it's been a pleasure having you in the boat today? Well, I enjoyed it. I man. really have. I you know, Clifford's been around a long time. I've always wanted to have him in the in the boat and on the show. Show you folks some of the things. I'll tell you, the one thing I learned today is keep fishing. <laughs> Are you serious? Did you get one? That was almost a double. <laughs> no, it, it's my show to close out. What are you doing? What's he, oh, and it's got to be bigger than mine. <laughs> what, what are you doing, son? Look at that crawdad. He just spit out. Floating. Get him? You want me to get him I'll or you got him? You get him since your hands are wet. <laughs> since my, got him? Ah, there we go. Well... Nice. That was almost a double, folks. <laughs> almost a double. I, I think that's a great way to end the show right yeah, there. Yeah, that was fun. I didn't want to interrupt your speaking, man. Yeah, you did. You know, yeah, all these fun. pro bass fishermen. <laughs> I, I can't get him out. We're not used to doing double hands there, and bass. you want to hold your fish? There we go. I'll let you hold your all fish. Right, thank you. Pretty fish. It's been a great day. Get some sun on him? Yeah, let me turn, turn around where we can get some sun on him for the camera here. Again, it's been a, we've had a good time today on the show. Caught a lot of fish in January, jigs, drop shots, jerk baits, and uh, we caught, we caught, I'd say the majority of them pretty shallow, wouldn't you? Less than 20. Yeah. Than 20. There's a lot of deep stuff you see out there, but these were definitely the fish that bit better today. Can I tell you, we're all rooting for you at the Classic this year. We're hoping you do good, and, and uh, we'll be watching for sure. Make sure you catch Clifford on his Facebook page and Instagram, Clifford Perch Outdoors. Been doing some great videos, some tips, things like that, that you can learn a lot from this guy. I'll tell you, he's, uh, he's an awesome fisherman, and it's been a pleasure having you in the boat. I sure appreciate it, you my bet. friend. It's been Thank fun. you so it's been much. Fun. Had a good time. Thanks for joining us on the water. We'll see you next week. I'm Johnny Johnson. <laughs> now, see, that's what I'm talking about, folks.